Hello everyone, welcome back to Morphex Gaming. How are you all today? We're back at the farm and we're gonna do some more tree lopping to make some more money. Hopefully today's prices are better than yesterday's. And um, to start off with, we'll have a look at this sheep's pen. Hey, and good news overnight. The uh, ground has germinated and you can see I missed a few spots, but Oh well, these things happen and I missed um, cultivating that flower in that spot. But over here, this icon, it's saying um, to install, you want to install, and I'm going to say no for now, for one reason, because we only have $8,000. So we've got these wood logs here that we're going to go and hopefully sell, and we're going to get in the Chevy, a Chevy, and hopefully get back down to the forest today to uh, cut some more wood so we'll start her up maybe put some fuel on her but yeah now I said in the last one I was going to fill up the Ferguson but it's only one just above half so we'll get this out of the shed this around slightly keep it running might as well turn it off because you always turn off an engine when you're refilling. So, ah, right. We need to get this old timer in to get the barrels of barrels, um, 20 litre cans of diesel out. So, we'll reverse her in. Sorry about the steering wheel noise, but it's, um, oldish. So, yes, we'll hopefully move out tipping or not being able to steer get these out and remove these tension belts and we'll drive out well, that's good um and that let's see if we can refill it oh there you go how much do we have left seven liters I wonder if that's going to be enough for the Chevy. We shall see. Hey, look at that. We've still got a litre of fuel left. So I'll try, I'll try and push this. Alright, come on. Yeah. Alright, well, there we go. Put this old thing back in the shed. Shed, it's a garage. So we can have enough room to put the Chevy in when it comes back in. There we go. And we go and get right, we'll get out of the shed and into the Chevy and I'll see you in the forest. Okay guys, we're on this trail of death almost back to the um forest. We'll take it nice and carefully. Oh, come on, Chevy. Oh. Right, let's hope hopefully we can get back up here. It was not liking it. Well, it sort of did like it yesterday. But I'm definitely thinking of investing in a bigger vehicle. So we're definitely doing this kind of stuff. Wow, oh. Scaring me. And then we have to rub her up to get up here. Ah, but she takes it easy. I think we'll go back down the back of the forest today. So we can move our way up once we eliminate trees and get this big boy. Stop. 
Chevy over here, collect up all this on time lapse right now. Okay guys, so, as you see I cut them into some bigger lengths, um, makes it easier to transport a bigger tree, and also I believe I'll get a better price for it at the wood dealer, or the sawmill as they call themselves. So I'll just load it all up into, as much as I can into the trailer, hopefully we can get most of it in here. Like that piece can go. Well, we'll put some tensioning belts on there later to get it all nicely done. And then this one goes there. Looks like we can almost get the entire tree in the back. But we might be making two tree cuts today. Hopefully. No, that's the stump. This is. Uh, Hey, there we go, guys. No, well, there we go. Now, I'll turn off the Chevy so we don't run out of fuel. And we might chop down this big guy. And okay, let's get, get the chainsaw out. Cut, cut, cut. Just missed the Chevy. Right, uh, time lapse again, right now. Okay guys, well, there we go, we've cut off this tree as well, eventually we'll get the stump grinder in here, I'll find one at, uh, for hire from the store, I don't know if I keep one in stock, but we'll try and put these logs, up. oh, there we go, and our last little piece down here, sorry about that. Okay, this is the last little piece. Hey, there we go. Oh, carefully. Carefully does it. There we go. It's all fastening belts, pretty sure. Yep, well, we'll go down to the sawmill. I'll see you there. Okay, guys, so we're here at the sawmill now. Um, we're going, as you see, the load is a little bit smaller because I've had to cut up some logs because they were um, not going well with the trailer and all that. But now that we are here, we can undo our load. About two trees. And we got one thousand six hundred and eighty-six dollars. Oh, look at that! That's for two trees. Wow! I can't wait for this grass to grow. Honestly. So yeah, we'll go back to the um. Oops. We'll go back to the forest to get those last couple of pieces of um wood that we had to leave behind. And yeah, we'll see you back here real soon. Okay guys, we are back, and we did get the last amount of wood from under the veranda, as you can see. So, we'll just get these done, because I know I'm not going to be losing it anytime soon. 
Let's see how much that'll give us. Very much wood. Wow, I might go back and buy some more. I might go and see if I can find and hire another trailer from the shop. Or longer ones so we can put bigger logs on. Like that kind of log. Wow, these are some big logs. Wow. But yeah, we'll go to the shop and see if they can sell me something like that. I'll put you on time lapse to the shop right now. Okay, I just remembered that I was going to be going to the shops, well, farm shops, so we'll get there right now. Okay guys, so we are here right now. Let us see what they have. Okay guys, so they've um, given me these two machines. Um, they said I should be able to lift in the big logs myself. Because it's fairly low. But I've leased these um, from the shop. Ooh. This is nice. It's a nice machine. Wow, look at this interior. Now you open with some turn run. Put it into gear. And first it's underneath this timber runner, as I call it. So we'll go in there. I believe the ship here. It turns it off. Right. Let us go and do some wood chopping. Big t on a big scale. And then we might have to hire a um, planter to plant some new trees for the forest. Hopefully, we can do that. So, I'll see you at the forest in about two minutes, I'm guessing. Might be wrong. In game time. See you there soon. Okay guys, so this is the spot where we cut our first tree, as you can see, it is still there. Oh lord, why did I have to hire this one? Okay, never mind, let's get to cutting some trees, I'll put you on time lapse right now.
Okay, guys, so I'm gonna just stop here because I'm gonna cut down probably 10 more trees, sell them all. Hopefully, we can get some money to pay back that loan. Maybe even buy this vehicle. For like, I think this was $60,000 and this was 23000 I don't think we're gonna get that much from 10 of these big guys. But anyway, I will stop recording here and cut the rest down by myself. See you soon. Okay guys, we're putting this last piece back in the trailer. Because it's fallen out. Uh, we can put the tensioning belts on when we get inside of the truck. Look at all these ten trees. And try and do a Yui. Um, yeah, do a Yui in the forest. Jackknife. I think we might be able to do it, guys. There we go. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Almost. It's not even our truck, so we be careful. But yeah, so we have to come back and plant some new trees. Very, very soon. And we can get out of the forest. Guys, did it actually get out unscathed? I think we just a bit walk around at the um, seams of the truck, but I come out here. Glitchy. Right. And we'll come out here. Ooh, so I think we're pedestrian squash. We'll turn around here. And then we can drive through the wood mill. So I'll see you at the wood mill, guys. I'll put you on a time lapse right now.
here. Just watch the wood disappear. I'm guessing we're probably gonna get 17,000 for it. Okay, three, two, one. Sold. 17,415 dollars for 10 trees. Oh wow, really sneaky. Oh, what? Right, so. Oh, it's definitely not enough money to buy this shit in particular, but we will go and we'll find. We shall go online, have a look at the kind of trucks they said. Oh, that's uh, that's the one I'd really like to buy. 175. Oh, Alright, I got a lot of trucks here. That's the one we're using at the moment. Oh wow, they are so expensive. That's not bad. It's a bit more expensive for them. I wonder if they sell a car. Does this one have that point hitch thing? I don't know what it's called. There's our car. Oh, we're selling a 1999 Chevy for 30,000. That's expensive. Oh, does this a yellow? Mm, let's see. Toolbox. No. Tailgate. Um. Don't know. Do I have even have it? Red floor type. Nah, this one doesn't have it. What about this one? Hey, look at that. It looks like it has a point hitch. But, yep, uh, so much out of our price range, these things. I'd love to get one of those little, like, quad bike things. But this is, yeah, look at this, this is, that's what we need to hire to plant some new trees, but, that, yeah, there you go, that's what we currently have on hire. Oh well, you can always dream. She gets something like that. How much should... Oh, wow. 3450 $17,000 for a trailer. Hey, look, over here, this one's... This one actually might... Wow. Don't know if it has tensioning belts. Actually, it does. You can see it's got... Yeah. I think we might buy this, guys. Buy that. Yes, please. And then we might be able to get the Chevy to do that. But anyway, I'll go and return this to the dealership, farm store, whatever you want to call it. And I will come back hopefully. Oops, too fast. But yeah, there we go. We're down to 20,000. About 20,000 dollars, yeah. But remember, on Friday, so tomorrow, we have to uh, sort of pay up another 5,000. Oh well. That's the way it's got to be, it's the way it's got to be. I'll see you at the dealership. Okay, guys, so this is going to be the last part of the video. They're going to, um, Turn this item to the store. Just go in and let them know we uh, have got it here. And this is pretty much going to be the last part of the video for today. And we don't need this snowplow anymore. But there we go. No more truck or snowplow trailer. But yes, as always guys, like, comment, and subscribe for the channel. We'll try and get up to a hundred subscribers, please. At 500 we will do a face reveal. And possibly even a Minecraft video if we're lucky. But, wait, until we get there, well, I'll be a faceless YouTuber for now. But as always, like, comment, and subscribe, and I shall see you in the next video. Bye for now.